Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgon111, and welcome back to Void Stranger. Since last time I've reviewed some more video, I think there are only two locust idols between here and basement 222 where everything goes off the rails. Um, and I don't think there are any smirking statues. There is, however, a uh, dark idol like the four dot statue that we see here on the left on basement 221 that I might be able to get to and I'm still I think there's mechanics involving them that I still have not understood so my goal for today is to get there um, I want to in any case you've seen me solve these puzzles before um, so my real plan for today before I get to <laughs> look looped into trying to think about puzzles and do commentary at the same time. That was something I was thinking about doing, but I don't know that that was actually all that good. Um, it might be sufficient. It is not. Um, my plan for today is to just edit in the things that are interesting, um, and so I'll probably see you in a couple of little clips and then get down to the bottom where we can actually try doing some more science. I do have a few things I want to science at the end of this level, and then if we have to start over again, I also have some things I want to try out at the beginning of our next replay, and so I still think that there's a lot of uh, fun things that we can do. Okay, I made it to basement 209. This is the first place that there's a lotus idol that I want to pick up. So far, puzzles have been straightforward enough. So to get the lotus idol here, I need to kill the statues. To kill the statues, I need to push a thing into this guy. That kills... Oh, but my own shadow counts as an enemy, and now I can't kill it because it'll kill me. So I have to not step on one of those tiles. Which is possible, because I can just move some things around. There we go. And so now I can obtain one of the two Lotus Idols. There's also a Lotus Idol on the very next level. And so at this point, I can just step on that in order to gain a shadow who will hold down the pressure plate for me. So there's a Lotus Idol right here. And I can just obtain it like this. And now my shadow is going to die if I try to get to the exit. But that's fine because I've got my second Lotus Idol, so now I can just go to the exit. And then let me check my notes. So if my goal is to get to 222 and... Or sorry, skip 222 and get to 223. With two Locus Idols, I could only try it on 221. So I will meet you guys at 221. Okay, long last. Basement 221, I have two Locust Idols. I got stuck on some puzzles I had previously solved. Uh, Alright, so... How do I think this is going to work? Honestly, I have no idea. I think I want to get below the Dark Idol, the four-dot statue at the bottom. So let's just try a few ways that might possibly get me there. Uh, this already is not going how I wanted. <laughs> okay, so I need to get some non-breakable tiles together near me. Maybe I just grab this one at the beginning. And then place it here, and this gives me a little bit of floor to stand on to do some things. But I also am going to need access to... Well, I'm trying to fall in the hole, so I don't need access to the pressure plate necessarily. Okay, that's actually a very useful observation. So how many of these things can I pick up? And I think the answer is both of them. No, I'm wrong. All right, I can pick up one of them, and then, oh, I can never get to the right now. I needed to take, okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay, if I want to build to the right of the statue, mm. That's gonna be hard. Um, is what I'm trying to do even possible? And even if I do it, will it do anything? I don't know. Is there another strategy I can employ that would be different? 
Probably. If I want to build south of the Dark Idol statue. Let's try to build north of the Dark Idol statue. That seems much easier just to start and just see if that is possible, because I think that is possible. So I'm going to start kind of a similar way. I don't love everything that I've done, but I don't hate it either. And then... I can't quite do enough to do what I want to do here. I can't come back with what I need. Because now I'm stuck. Um, how does this work? I think it is doable. Suppose I drop this off over here first. And I'm unlikely to come back. And yeah, getting a follower is definitely not going to help me. I really need to get three together. How many? There's one, two, three, four, five, six pieces of solid ground, plus a seventh one that the idol is standing on. That's a fair number of pieces of solid ground if I can get them all together and, like, rescue them. But doing so is... Non-trivial is a word I'm fond of, so I will say non-trivial. However, here's something I didn't do before. All right, I managed to get a number of them together here. Is this enough to work with? Almost. I might surprise myself here. Because I think I also, yeah, I have access to that piece of glass too. There's a couple pieces of glasses that I could pick up here for just like temporary places to stand on. So let's leave one piece of glass over there as a useful temporary. And I'm pretty sure I can fetch another in a moment if I am clever. And I think I'm clever. Looking pretty clever right now. Yeah, so I have access to a few pieces of glass as well. And as a desperation move, I could even get the uh, place where I need to stand on my own doppelganger shadow thingy. So do I have enough to get south of the statue right now? I feel like the answer is yes. Yeah, I'm not sure. I should be using the glass to make sure I get good access to all the directions I need to go and things. So let's uh, be very careful about where we place the glass for now. Um... If I want to get south of the statue... I need to start, like, building down there. So let's do that. So I'm trying to build downwards toward the statue. Uh, I'm not sure we're doing with the glass just yet. And this piece of glass is kind of in the way of where I wanted to do some bound downward building toward the statue, maybe. So let's put it up here for just a moment. Okay. I think I can build down in front of the statue just with what I have here. Because I can move this whole 3x2 downward. So is 3x2 platform enough to uh, change directions and everything? Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, so I can jump in front of the statue. I have two locust idols. What happens if you jump in front of the statue? Anything? Let's find out. Nothing. However, stairs in front of the statue did something differently before. So let's try stairs in front of the statue. So basically the exact same thing that I did, except I need to get the stairs, uh, which I did how? I think like this. Uh, I'm not sure that I did this right. Hmm. Let's try this. 
I haven't broken that yet. Oops. I think maybe this is not right. I'm not sure. In any case, I had a bunch of extra pieces of glass, and so I should be able to rescue a few other things I might need to get where I am going. I think I need to intentionally break that so that I can put this here. And then put this here. And then I managed to rescue my six, yeah. So now all I need to do is position the six uh, such that I can open... Oh, I can't open the stairway. I can't open the stairway because I don't have something heavy to set on it. Oh, I do! I could have my shadow! <laughs> so I need to bring my shadow along with me. Okay. Um, that's a nice little wrinkle. So that makes this an extremely advanced puzzle. But I believe I can still do what I want to do. So don't step on the shadow tile. But also don't leave the shadow tile behind. And the glass could still be quite useful. Uh, don't step on the shadow tile. It's going to prove difficult if I'm not careful. So I can put this over here. Shuffle these around like so. I will need access to the shadow tile. So let's go ahead and find a way to drop it off, perhaps by using some of the glass to do so. So I could drop off the shadow tile right there. So it's still in a useful spot. Then my goal is to get... I want the exit... Oh boy. I want to grab another temporary piece of glass for reasons. Let's leave it there somewhere that's pretty accessible. I want the exit. Sorry, I want the pressure plate south of south of me now. And that piece of glass will do what I want because I could put the pressure plate down there. But then I can't move the exit. Hold on. Why don't I put something else down there so I have a little bit of free space? And then I want to move the exit. And things have gotten cramped. Okay, this is still possible. Let's move this temporarily over here. Let's move this temporarily over here. This lets me pick up the exit and put the exit where I want it. The exit is now where I want it. Great. Let's shuffle some more things around. Then the next thing I want where I want it is where I'm standing is where I want the pressure plate to be. So how do I get the pressure plate where I am standing? That seems non-trivial. And also, whilst I am doing so, I also want to bring the shadow creator probably down here where I'm standing now. So are those things possible? And I do still have a spare piece of glass to work with. Also, if I had two shadows... Can I get two shadows? I think I can, actually. Hold on. Suppose I do this. Now I can create two shadows, have them stepping two behind me. Yeah, if I walk across it twice, I'll have two shadows following me, and then I should be able to get to the exit in front of the Dark Idol. So, this is a mechanic that the only time we saw it was at the end of the first game. Exiting in front of the Dark Idol did something special. This time I have two Lotus thingies, and I haven't yet reached an ending, so let's see what happens. Is this just going to cause the same forgetting? Only a simple memory will remain. So this might just be the same ending. It didn't skip me ahead for sure. So this appears to be the same opening cutscene again. So possibly stepping into an exit in front of the Dark Idol, the statue with the four dots, causes you to reset the loop with the only simple memory will remain.
So I gained some information as well as some practice solving some puzzles that I'd only previously seen once. And now there are experiments I need to run on the first few floors. Uh, oh, it immediately brought me back here. We did not witness the whole... Okay, some of the experiments I wanted to do at the end were when the music with the lyrics was playing or whatever. Like, there were puzzles to solve, and I just stopped and listened. And if I had solved those puzzles, could I have witnessed more stuff? In any case, so we're back like where we originally started things. We can inspect the mural. It's that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so the first place where anything interesting happens... Uh, was the statue there wearing a pendant? And will it still be after I... No, the statue's like completely gone after I acquire the strange rod, right? Something is wrong. Now we'll be stuck on the grid. Yeah, the statue's completely gone. All right. Okay, so on basement, I do want to acquire locust idols. And on basement 10, I think, is the first time that there is something unusual that I wish to interact with. So we'll go do that. And I think I can probably solve enough puzzles quickly here that I can just keep going. Yeah, let me have all of my brain power. So I will see you in a moment. Okay, so I think basement 10 is the first place. So on this basement, I pushed a rock onto that glowing star thing. And on a future basement, I actually walked on top of one of the glowing star things. They only appear, as far as I know, when I have HP, which means I haven't died yet. Um, and what I've never tried to do is to pick one up with my staff. And so that is the science I want to do. So if I want to pick this up, I actually need to plan ahead. And I haven't tried to like draw this out before. So let me try to plan ahead and figure out how I could pick it up with my staff. Okay, I'm fairly certain I see a way. Which is, if I push this up, 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 then I could push this right to, then I could push this up, pick up this square, push this out of the way, and now, <gasps> HP! It blinked, and I have like a little shard of HP shieldedness or something, maybe? Maybe. 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 Okay, did I have to sacrifice my ability to pick up a Lotus Idol on this screen in order to get that? Perhaps. Is it still possible for me to acquire the Lotus Idol here? Um... I think it might be... I'm not certain, though. I'm getting more certain the more I look at it. Because if I push this rock to the right, I think I'm never getting to the chest. Which means if I want to get south of the chest, I probably need to eliminate the rock to the right of me. which also doesn't look very promising. And so I think the fact that I pushed this rock to the right maybe means I did it. So I'm going to hold on to my HP. It looks like possibly we've only filled up like a quarter or a third of like a little shard shield or something. Oh! It did something and then it disappeared. So I kept my HP onto this basement. There's another one coming up on basement 14. So we'll try to figure that out. Um, can I get this without killing myself? It involved trapping the snake somewhere to the right. Which I have time to do. Great. And then making sure the snake isn't about to eat me. He's not. Then using some tempos to let the snake go by. And then going on. Great. Uh, and this level is just a tutorial about little crawly larva behavior. 
And so this one, I died on this one previously as my first death in the second playthrough. There is another HP thingy to try to pick up. It is much more difficult to acquire. Let's try to acquire it. So step one, I think, is to trap rightmost larva in the south edge. Is that possible? If I tempo, go here, go up. If I go down, I can't trap them over there. Uh, so instead, I'm just going to pick this up so that I have a spare tile. So if I drop this in front right now, that seems great. Let's tempo this guy. And then I can cut him off down there. So he's trapped down there. I do have something attached to my staff right now, which I kind of don't want. Because I need to pick up the HP shard or whatever. So I'm going to be patient and go pick up a locust idol while I'm being patient. But let's just tempo, tempo, tempo. Drop this off. Pick up this thing. Alright, it did the same kind of thing where it just like... It might be larger than it was last time, the like pink part of the purple HP thingy. I'm not certain. But let's tempo out of this. And then I don't know when the next one of these HP shards might show up. Alright, so it seemed to credit me with something. Okay, it's on this very next level. So yeah, we're getting into possible whole new mechanics. I'm going to tempo this guy so I can be just one step behind him. Which means I can now do this. So now we have lots of space to work with. And now I can probably tempo this guy. Uh, let me take a tempo over here, because I think that'll get me... Yeah. Uh, no, I still... Mm. How do I get him out of the way? I'm not sure yet. Oh, I figured it out, I think. I can also use this. Uh, I'm still not sure that I figured it out. I think I need to put this back for the moment. Oh, no, I see something useful I can do with this. Okay, so when he goes north... I spent too much time walking there. Okay, I want to go down here and leave him more space. So he'll spend more time down there. Then I want him to get south of me. And then I can cut him off. Okay, and now while he's cut off... I have time, it still looks the same as it did last time, to collect an HP shard. And what do I think this is doing for me? Because it seems like it goes away at the end of each level. <sighs> Should I experiment with taking damage? HP 07, boop boop boop. I don't know how to reason about like what I'm witnessing, or if I should just carry it forward. Let's carry it forward again. Let's watch it very carefully. It gives me, like, some kind of credit. And there's another one on this level. So I guess let's try collecting N of them for some value of N before deciding what we're going to do. Uh, this one definitely makes all oh, levels that previously were too easy. Maybe have HP shard thingies on them. I'm calling them HP shard. That just to, appears to the left of my HP. It doesn't necessarily mean like HP. Um, so, uh, how do I video game? I'm uncertain what I should be doing here. I can cut you off over there. That seems helpful. Yeah, and I can walk on the HP shards just fine. And then I can take tempos on them too. Just guessing and inferring, and it works out just fine. Okay. And now I should be able to go pick it up. I have time. Okay, I picked up an HP shard. 
What happens if I put it back down? I still have the HP. And now what happens if I go to the exit? Did I put them back down last time? I'm not sure that I put them back down. It still credits me. All right. So it's like I'm doing the same puzzles, but now with bonus credits or something? Feels kind of like what's happening. Um, I think I need to wait for some tempos here again. And I also think I can afford to do that. And then use this to get across. All right, so we're gonna go deeper into the game. At some point, like I like even this puzzle, <laughs> I remember being difficult. Like, how do I solve this without uh, losing the game? Well, it only depends on if I want to pick up the uh, locust, I suppose. Because if I don't care about the locust, then the puzzle's super easy. Oh right, I remember what to do. I can just kill this guy with the statue. Oh, but if I kill him with the statue, no. I don't step into the exit when I kill him with the statue. Um, it's fine. I just push the statue and I stand here, which means I can still get the locust idol, and then continue onwards. I've also I've been playing on controller. I might want to switch to keyboard um, because it'll be easier to make precise inputs on the keyboard so that I don't accidentally press to the right when I'm trying to press up or something and fall into a pit. Um, yeah. Okay. So. This was probably a bit of a mishmash hodgepodge episode or whatever, but we're exploring a new mechanic. Um, and next time we'll also be coming up on Basement 23, where I want to inscribe various brands, if I can, because it's the first 6x6 six six, uh, puzzle zone or something, and see if something magical happens there. So look forward to that next time. I'm going to say I hope, as always, that you all are having a great day, and I will see you again soon with more Void Stranger. For now. Bye-bye.